Good evening, UT. Reporting live from the sixth floor of the Hodges Library, I'm Josh Ward. And I'm Abby Knight. Thank you for watching Power T TV. Over spring break, the University of Tennessee began tearing down the University Center, public and staff parking garages on Andy Holt Avenue. This marks the first of many phases to create a new University Center on campus. The new University Center will undoubtedly be bigger and better than the old one, including 10 dining locations and seating for over 1,000 students. The new UT Bookstore will cover almost 50,000 square feet, which is 20,000 more square feet than the current UT Bookstore. The project will be completed in phases, allowing the UC to continue to function as construction continues. This project is set to be completed in 2015. Or in UT time, that's like 30 years. So it doesn't apply to us. Last week, voting for the 2012-2013 Student Government Association elections closed. With a victory, the Fuel Campaign was elected over the Revolt Campaign. And their campaign, Fuel promised to appeal to the administration in stating a tuition cap. They also plan to develop a smartphone application for the UT students next fall. The University of Kentucky Wildcats dominated the University of Kansas Jayhawks, winning the NCAA Men's Basketball Championship game 67-59. to The Kentucky Wildcats secured their eighth NCAA championship. This was their first win under, under Kentucky head coach John Calipari. Although the Volunteers did not make it to the NCAA Men's Tournament this year, the win was a sweet victory for the SEC. Besides, there's always next year, right? According to the Associated Press, Tennessee Governor Bill Haslam announced that he may sign a new evolution bill in the state of Tennessee. This bill would protect teachers and public schools from punishment, allowing students to engage in candid conversations about controversial scientific theories like evolution and global warming. However, the signing of this bill is currently under great scrutiny. Some critics even believe the bill is setting the state of Tennessee back 90 years. In fact, in 1925, the legendary Scopes Monkeys trial was held in Tennessee. This trial banned teaching of creationism in Tennessee public schools. Regardless of this controversy, whether or not Governor Haslam will sign the bill has not yet been determined. Also this week, we have a new segment called Damn Good News. Take it away, Josh. Thanks, Abby. On April 28th at the Cider House, the University of Tennessee radio station WUTK 90.3 The Rock will be hosting a live music festival called Exam Jam. All proceeds will go to help keep WUTK 90.3 The Rock on the air. This week, Power TTV has an exclusive interview with one of the local bands that will be playing at Exam Jam. This week, we got an exclusive interview with Plain Clothes Tracy. Check it out. Two, three, four. Hey guys! We're Plain Clothes Tracy. Thanks for checking out Power TTV. The name Plain Clothes Tracy came from, um, we had a song that actually had Plain Clothes Tracy in one of the lyrics, but it comes from the original comic book for Dick Tracy, was Plain Clothes Tracy. So it sounds like a girl who doesn't dress up too fancily, but really it's a, uh, a detective who was quite a hard ass and he, he had a plain clothes detective suit on. Yeah, we're excited about Exam Jam. Or, I mean, we're going to probably start hyping the show very soon ourselves. Man, it's it's going to be an exciting show. It's plus, like, we've never played the Cider House either. Yeah. It's one of the few 18 and up shows that we get to play. Because yeah. we're in bars most of the time. I'm excited about it. No. I would love to jam before any of my exams. And yeah. We've got Little Iffy. Oh. The Bad Dudes. Plain Clothes Tracy. Mutations. Wolf at the Door and Mutations. Yeah. Cool. We played, so. which I guess we played with most of those except for um, what, uh, Wolf at the Door and we, Bad News. We didn't play with Bad News. We love Bad News. Bad News. Yeah. Come see us at the Cider House April 28th for Exam Jam. Those guys are really awesome. I'm hanging out with them, listening to the music. I had so much fun. Um, I really can't wait to see them at Exam Jam. Exam Jam is going to be really awesome. That's damn good news. Now off to our man on the street, Brock Ward. Brock? Thank you, Abby. Hello, UT. This is Brock Ward, 
at Brock Ward's Award Bonanza, where I ask random questions to random people for random money. Now the game is simple. I ask three trivia questions, and if they get all three correct, they win one dollar. Let's begin. Can you name all three of the Deathly Hallows? Uh, the Elder Wand, the Invisibility Cloak, and the Resurrection Stone. What a boss! What color shoes was Lieutenant Dan wearing on Forrest Gump's shrimpin' boat? Oh, gosh. I'm almost have to say white. That's probably the best answer I have. I'm sorry, sir. Lieutenant Dan had no legs on the shrimpin' boat. <laughs> Thank you for playing. I like it, I like it. Thanks, guys. <laughs> to 10 million fireflies, I'm weird because I hate... Goodbyes. Correct! <laughs> answer one down. She's off to a good start. What is the 150th Pokemon oh. of the original 151? Oh my gosh, it's either Mew or Mewtwo. Ooh, um, one of the two. I'm gonna say Mewtwo. Correct, sir! Boy, you're enthusiastic. Now on to our final question. Who was our second president? John Adams. We have winners! Congratulations, you two. You win one of our first presidents. Thanks. Now you two go and spin that on something nice. We will. Well, UT, we had a couple of winners today, and we had some losers. But hey, you know who the real winners are? The, the ones who got the dollar. <gasps> Back to you, Abby and Josh. <laughs> Thanks, Brock. Well, that's all we've got for this edition of Power TTV. You can follow us on Twitter. For Power TTV, I'm Josh Ward. And I'm Abby Knight. Thanks for watching.